Hi, it's Maya here, and today I'll be talking about The Unbalancing by R.B. Lemberg, which is a lyrical fantasy novel featuring a sleeping star, magical names, an island community, and a ghost in a queen's grove. The book is set in the same birdverse universe that the novella The Four Profound Weaves was set in, but you do not have to read the novella before reading this one. This is set in a completely different location with different characters. In The Unbalancing, our two main characters are trying to find a way to save their island home with the help of their magic and their community. Beneath the waters of these islands, a star sleeps, and the star's well-being is tied to the well-being of the islands, but the star's sleep has grown restless and that has caused tremors on the island, and a new star keeper needs to figure out a solution. Lilun is a poet who leads a solitary life. Every morning they tend this queen's grow up on this hilltop, and they are visited by the spirit of their ancestor Semberi, who is the first star keeper, and they really want Lilun to take over the star keeper role, but Lilun is not interested. All they want is a quiet life, and they are not comfortable around lots of people. Our second point of view character is Ranra, who is the newly elected Starkeeper. Um, the Starkeeper is basically the leader of this community whose job it is to take care of the star, but the previous Starkeeper neglected his job, so now things have become more urgent. Randra is a more loud and impatient person than Lilun, and I often found myself agreeing with Lilun that she needs to take things more slowly and think things through before acting. So our two main characters meet and sparks fly, but their new relationship and attempts to get to know each other are hindered by the danger the island faces. The magic system of the deep names that I was introduced to in The Four Profound Weaves is perhaps even more so present in this novel. It's a fascinating system where how many deep names people have and how many syllables are in the names correspond to magical power. And this novel delves more into how these names are taken and how they are used with some new revelations for the characters as well. Lemberg is so skillful in building different cultures that feel real and lived in. Their approaches to magic and gender, for example, very different. In these two stories set in this universe that I've read, I've been introduced to the Surun with their weaving magic, the Kana with their stricter gender roles, the city of Iar where women are forbidden to have deep names, and now the people of the island of Gelege with variations of gender identity, some indicated by hair tokens shaped like different animals. Whenever I am in the Birdverse, I believe in the setting, I believe in the people, and everything feels like it has this deep history and tradition behind it. And it's not just the main characters, even the side characters in The Unbalancing feel like fully developed people. My favorite part in The Unbalancing was Semberi, this ancestral spirit haunting a queen's grove, the first star keeper trying to pester their chosen successor to fill the role. And they really want Lilun to just go and do what they tell them to do. Whenever Lilun visited the queen's grove, I was just waiting to see Semberi and hear what they had to say this time. And in bits and pieces, they actually tell the history of the star and the island, which features the goddess bird. Out of the two Birdverse books that I have read, The Four Profound Weaves does remain my favorite. There was just something about the weaving magic and the setting that I really enjoyed. And I just found out actually that there's going to be a collection of stories and poems set in the Birdverse coming out later this year, so I will definitely be reading that one. But you can go read The Unbalancing right now, because it comes out from Tachyon today. And that's all from me for now. Let me know in the comments if you have read any stories set in the Birdverse and which is your favorite or if you will be picking up the unbalancing as your first. And I'll see you in my next video.